Hey everyone, welcome to my channel here with Cynthia. In today's video, I want to show you how I created these iron mats. And I wanted some different size um, for different type of projects. So I'm going to show you how cute they came out. So this is the first one. And I'm, I am later on going to um, be telling you what other items that you are going to need for this project. So I made this um, longer one for longer projects. So I use felt in the back. I got this teeny mini ironing board for my smaller projects. And I have this one. It came out so cute. And I have this big one. And as I said, I use some felt so I'm gonna come on and put this to the side so I went down to Lowe's and I bought me um, some wood and what I did was I cut them down to size the sizes that I wanted to cut them but um, they cut you know like Lowe's don't have a place where you could cut like the size and I didn't have like the cutting machine to cut it so i went down with my son to um home depot and i was able to cut my wood there so so this one is a, a, a is eight by eight and this one is nine and seven eighths of width and ten and a half of height so together we are going to make one so just grab some wood and um let's get started so you you're gonna wanna get this type of stapler. I bought this at um, Lowe's a long time ago. I had to run down and get some staples because I ran out of them after making all the little boards. So you're gonna need your staple and this type of, I mean, your staplers and this type of staple. I don't know how to say that, whatever. Um, you're gonna need some glue. Of course, um, some fabric of your choice. So I went down to Hobby Lobby and I got myself a, this pretty fabric. I'm going to use it for the bigger one. And I had this in my stash. So I'm going to use this one for the smaller one. Before the video, I pre-cut them a little bit. I still have to give it some cut. Um, and you are going to need some Enso Bright. You're going to need this and you're going to need some, some, um, this is cotton, what is it called? Batting? Cu cutting, um, I think it's, um, cotton batting. Sorry, guys. So you're going to need that and of course you're going to need some felt. I bought this one. It's like a little bit harder than the like normal soft ones. I'll show you right now. Like, see, they have these that are like really soft. And then they have these. It's a little har harder. So for the big one, I am go uh, going to use... I bought a big one. Because I just don't like to leave, like, the back of it, like, just, you know, I, I like to just line it up, like, even. So, I had to get longer ones for this one. So, that that's all you're going to need. So, let's start doing, I'm making the smaller one. Um, I think I had pre-cut I had to cut um, the insole bright before this video, and I just need to cut the. I just need to cut um, the 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 batting, cotton batting. So let me grab the wood. All right, so. I'm off camera. Well, yeah. All right. 
right here. You're gonna need some scissors of course, some fabric scissors. These are so good, guys. So, um, since my batting is uneven, I wanna go and cut it a little bit even, straighter. So you're gonna go you got you have to put your um cotton batting first before you you put your insult I don't know how to pronounce it right so all right I think this is a little bit uneven here so I want to get it even because I want to just make sure that every corner comes out a little bit, you know, like not too, not too uneven. I should bring it down a little bit more and then just cut a little bit off here. I think it's still too big. So you're gonna um, pull your batting tight, and you're gonna need um, just in case of you're gonna need a little hammer. Later on, uh, just a little hammer. Make sure you hold it tight. So you won't have too too much um, too much um, batting, so it won't be like too thick. You want to cut like these little pieces out. So go around and just cut like little triangle triangles This one left. So you're gonna come on and hold it tight.
you don't have to worry about um the staples because all this is going to be covered. I like to put, you know, I like to secure you could put less staples. I like I just like to secure it. um secure it. Um secure how do you, how you say secure? Oh my lord. Make sure that everything is tucked in and tighten. Be careful with your fingers. Make sure you hold it nice and tight. I've seen many videos and I see that some people just leave. Um, this I just want to cut it because I don't want it to look too like thick when I go on and put the rest of my pieces. I mean my fabrics. So I just go around. So, look how it looks. I just like to come in and So here is how it's coming up. So now we're going to put our insole bright. Right. Same thing. Make sure that you hold it tight. Oops. So I have this little um stapler. Um, I bought it at um Staples, and it just pulls out the staples. Okay. Uh oh. This one didn't come out too good. Okay, let me just put it here. pretty easy and on top of that you could just like customize your little board um, with whatever fabric you like alright so same thing we're gonna go around and cut little triangles here Make sure that you put it tight. All right, this one. All right. Okay, this one is too good. 
Tuck it in. Oops, I forgot to cut this one. So look how cute it's coming out. So I'm going to grab my fabric. Make sure you press it nice and tight. Alright. This one we're not going to cut anything else. We're just going to leave it like that. And then we're just going to tuck it in. I always like to grab my corners for it first. No, oh, this one didn't come up. Okay. Make sure you put it really tight. I think I'll have to take this one out. So I want to go. 
Nice and tight. Nice and tight. So I just ran out of staples. Ain't this pretty, guys? So cute. All right, so. I'm just gonna. So, I am going to grab my felt. So, I'm going to use this one. Grab my fabric um, glue. Let me secure. 
correct. Make sure that everything is tight. Watch it with your fingers, that you don't staple your fingers. All right. So I am gonna go and put glue all around, all around it. I used, for the first ones, I used like um, my glue gun, but I didn't like it because it leaves like a lot of bumps. So I thought that using the fabric glue, I think it's way better. So you're going to go all around it. You're going to go on and place it right at the edge. Give it a good press. Cut your little corners. Right. Just gonna cut a little bit more. How adorable, guys. Okay. You gotta let it sit so it could. Alright. I'm gonna cut a little bit here. We still gotta cut a little bit. Oh god. I think I got some glue in my scissors. Right. So here we have our first little tiny mat in this cute guys so let's make another one so I want to make the the bigger one now all right so I came and I already had pre-cut my my fabric well I have to cut my 
my my cotton bat batting. So, all right. So again, the same process. It's just we're working with a bigger board. Okay. This one, like I said, measures nine by seven eighths. So I wanted a bigger, uh, like a a bigger one. Crafting could get pretty messy in seconds. You could clean up your table and it'll be a storm a few minutes after. Alright, so I'm gonna side. Pretty messy. Alright. I got some glue in my scissors and it's not good because these are my fabric scissors. Alright, so So we're gonna tuck in our corners again. So again, we're gonna go and cut. See, I don't want it to be too thick. I mean, if you don't want to cut it, you don't have to. I think for this one, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to go on and staple it. Because even if it leaves that, that, um, thick, um, how can you say, even if it's a little thick, it gives it like a little stand for, for your, um, cutting board. Alright. So, just got to... I think I'm gonna go and cut a little bit, cut around. Okay. So I like to go around and. Okay. Make sure you don't stick with your fingers.
make sure you Make sure you tuck it in tight. How pretty. I think this one we need to tuck it in more. Okay. I'm gonna go around and have it on my side. I'm gonna so make sure it's just make sure that everything is secure. guys all right so i'm gonna grab my belt for this one i'm gonna use the white one because i don't have no other longer one so i'm just gonna go around the edge and put some fabric glue i love this glue and give it a good press. Okay. All right, and then we're just gonna make sure that everything is okay.
so we, here we have it ain't this cute guys beautiful i just love love how they all came out so i have different sizes to work on for my little project longer projects how cute This is a bigger one, and this is my little tiny, tiny one for my probably all like iron little um little fabrics I have laying down for my junk journals. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You have a blessed day. Bye bye.